this one in Spokane since early November. And ladies and gentlemen, number 17, Gonzaga, hosting the Washington State Cougars. Welcome inside the McCarthy Athletic Center. And these two teams have played some great ball games over the years, and we cannot wait to get to this one tonight. You can see the sea of red in the McCarthy Athletic Center. They're ready. Greg Heiser and Craig Elo and Craig Washington State, a perfect 6-0. They have not lost, and they're coming off a championship in the Great Alaska Shootout. I don't care what you say, Greg. When you go up to Great Alaska Shootout and you win three games in four nights, you're doing something right with the basketball. And I think the main thing that Washington State's doing right now is that they are able to score the basketball and get easy baskets like that. But they also have a go-to guy now in Clay Thompson. That right there broke the single-game record of 43 points at the Great Alaska Shootout. And remember, there's been a lot of good players to play in that tournament. It's no secret Clay Thompson will be taking a lot of shots here tonight. He's leading the nation in scoring with better than 28 points a game. Now the offense doesn't particularly go through Clay Thompson, but his teammates love setting screens for him. Stagger screens, drag screens, all kinds of things to get Clay Thompson open. If he's hot, which he is right now, watch out. Yeah, things are good in Pullman right now. Gonzaga coming off a championship as well in the Maui Classic. They had to beat Cincinnati in that title game, but Craig, their guards came alive over in the right. island. How impressive was the defense that Gonzaga played against the Cincinnati, the Wisconsin's, and the Colorado's? Remember, they dug themselves out of a 15-point hole in that first game. Played Wisconsin, battled them, boom, boom. And this street fight right here turned out in Gonzaga's favor because they played the way their opponent was, and they matched it and got even better. Yeah, great defensive team now for Gonzaga as we take a look at the co-MVPs in that tournament. Stephen Gray and Matt Bolden both were awesome. Both well-deserving of it. Stephen Gray played his best basketball of the year right now for Gonzaga, shooting the ball very well. Matt Bolden didn't even score in that last game, but his 11 rebounds in that game against Cincinnati was what held that team together. Both deserving to be MVPs of that tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, Gonzaga 5-1. and one, Their only loss at Michigan State. Washington State, a perfect 6-0. They'll strap it on when we come back. Stay tuned. the McCarthy Athletic Center in Spokane, Washington. Number 17, Gonzaga hosting Washington State out of the Pacific 10. Craig Heister and Craig Elo. And Craig, I know we're still talking about preseason, neither team into their, their conference schedules yet, but this is an important team for both programs. Important game. It is an important game. Remember, Pullman's just 70 miles down the road. This town, what an appropriate song for to start the game out. Run this town. It's divided. There's Cougars here and there's Zag people here. So this is a great atmosphere. Remember, this used to be played at the old Spokane Arena between the Gonzaga right. Bulldogs and Washington State. They went home and home, and since it's gone home and home, it's created a great rivalry between these two schools. And we've got a whistle here. They wanted Abe Lodwood's foot on the other side of Elias Harris. Castle wins the opening tip, and Moore runs it down for Washington State. This is Reggie Moore, a freshman out of Seattle, Washington. Well, not your average freshman either. He's the averaging about, what, 52% from field goals, 88 from free throws, and get this, 23 assists and only 13 turnovers in six games. Wadwick trying to go inside to a cutting Thompson. It was kicked out of bounds by Harris. So for Washington State, you got Marcus Capers, Clay Thompson, Reggie Moore, D'Angelo Castro, and Abe Lodwick. Gonzaga's Robert Sacre, Dimitri Goodson, Bolden Harris, and Stephen Gray as Morris fights right through the middle, missed the shot. Ball picked up by Castro, up and good. Washington State scores first. Washington State really opportunistic on the second chance points. Remember the last three or four years they played for Bennett, they never went after offensive rebounds. This year they're allowed to do that, so they've been scrapping. There's a lob to the backside, and Sacre with the finish for Gonzaga. The points in the paint tonight. Gonzaga wants to rule the paint, but right now it's even at two apiece. Lodwick not much of a threat from out deep, but Clay Thompson certainly is. 28 points a game, knocked away by Gray. Thompson, though, able to regain possession. 
into the corner. Lodwick fakes the three. Ten on the shot clock. Moore backs it out for Washington State. They reset. Moore will try the deep three over Goodson. That's well short. Castro with the rebound. Didn't hit the rim. It did not hit the rim. He got the shot away. Tipped up. No good. It would not have counted. That ball did not hit the rim by Castro either. No, the Moore shot was short. D'Angelo just got the rebound and thought he could get back out and reset the offense. But his shot was short too, so the shot clock went off. Watch this matchup right here between Stephen Gray. These two guys are very comfortable of playing each other. And they know each other well. <laughs> Bolden trying to go inside to Robert Sacre, deflected out of bounds. Yeah, as much as you think these guys hate each other, <laughs> they hang out together sometimes in the summer. Stephen Gray has been down to Pullman to visit D'Angelo Castro, who has become a friend. And, you know, D'Angelo's from here, so it's logical that these two teams know each other. And Gray missing his first shot of the game. Just underway in Spokane, number 17, Gonzaga hosting Washington State. Sacre with a double team. He got it inside. Kicked out, Bolden. He'll try from three, rims out. Harris deflected it to Rob Sacre, new shot clock. Goodson into the paint. Now the fall away. That's well short. Rebound Castro. Should be pointed out, Craig, the last time Washington State played this building was Castro and Moore on a different page there. The last time the Cougars were in this building, they won the game. The last time Ken Bone was in this building as the head coach of Portland State, he won the game. <laughs> yeah, and Gonzaga's only lost three, three games times in this here. building. Exactly. And we got two of people right here, or a team and a coach. That are part of that, those three uh, losses for Gonzaga. The only other loss was against Santa Clara, the only league loss for Gonzaga inside the McCarthy Athletic Center. This is Harris with it. Bolden will drive. And now Goodson. Sacre, look at the double team coming there quickly. Yeah, they went on the pass, and that's exactly what you want to do if you want to take the ball out of Robert's hands. Bolden into the middle, knocked away by Lodwick. And he picks up the personal foul. Craig, and everybody thought it was going to be an up-tempo all about offense down in Pullman. But they're playing good defense this year. Uh, their opposition field goal percentage at 39%. Off the inbound! Sacre with the flush. Gonzaga leads 4-2. Robert definitely has the size advantage up upper body against D'Angelo. That time just took up uh, a lot of real estate in the paint. The lob came right from Matt Bolden right to him for an easy basket. Capers got the baseline and missed the shot. Harris with the rebound for Gonzaga. Capers is not going to beat you with his jump shot. And Goodson a little out of control, throws it up, draws a personal foul. But this is what Meach has gotten so much better in those first few games. He didn't. There's the lob. Look at that. Just pushes D right out of the paint. Robert goes up with a slam and a nice delivery by Matt Bolden. Moore picks up the personal foul, his first two on Washington State. But to go back to my point was, I, I didn't think Meach had a really good game against uh, Michigan State. I think he was a little intimidated by the Kalen Lucas, you know, the All-American there. And all of a sudden after that, though, Meach started pushing the ball. And when, when Coach Few says Meach pushes the ball, that makes them a better team. And he's getting to the rim and scoring more. Thompson deflecting that rebound to his teammate Abe Lodwick. And now Moore trying to drive on Goodson. Got it to Lodwick who fires for three. That shot's off. Bolden saved it. Got it to Goodson. Dimitri in the open floor into the middle. Harris blocked by Lodwick. Well, the one thing you'll see is Washington State will not goof around. They will get back and pack the lane. That part of the, uh, the Bennett's, what the Bennett's left there is is evident in Washington State. They will get back and stop transition basket. So 23 on the shot clock for GU. And a tie-up call. Possession arrow goes to Gonzaga. Boy, that was awfully quick there, Craig. Well, both teams love to trap. The, the big guy when he screens, you watch the defense of uh, Gonzaga and Washington State. Both the big guys will jump and hedge that uh, point guard out towards midcourt. That time, Castro and uh, Clay stayed with Stephen, and Stephen picked up his dribble, and when he did, Clay Thompson tied him up. 